I'm Addison Brazil. Reef Club, the podcast starts now. Uh, today, I just want to take a few minutes to uh, give us all the opportunity to slow down, to just take a few deep breaths, go inward, and continue with our day. So if you want to sit comfortably in the chair you're in or lie on the floor, just kind of shake it out and uh, let a sigh out, breathe. Find that comfortable position that's upright enough that you're going to stay awake, but you're able to fully relax. Uh, mm, let's take a big deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Let out a sigh if you want. Four seconds in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Six seconds exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to repeat this. And in between the inhale and the exhale, if you haven't already, Allow your eyes to gently close. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four, five, six. And now that your eyes are closed, just tune in to your body, allowing whatever is to be. And as you continue taking exhales in and out, slowing the heart rate down, I want you to check in with yourself. Let's take a moment for us to do an emotional fitness check-in. Hmm. Think of one word right now for how you're feeling physically. Now allow that word to float in your mind and as you exhale, let it float away. It's not permanent, it's just the word of this moment. It's just there to honor. Let's take another deep breath in. Now let's pick one word for how we're feeling mentally. Again, breathe into that word. Don't let it mean too much. Just be aware of it, befriend it. And as you exhale, let it float away. And lastly, let's choose one word as we breathe for how we're feeling right now, emotionally. And again, just let that be whatever it is. Notice where you feel that in the body. Send a little extra breath to there. Honor it, let it know that you're acknowledging it. And again, after a deep breath on the exhale, let that word float away. Your one word would probably change multiple times throughout the next few minutes that we spend grounding. And that's a beautiful gift to know that, to think about that as you're releasing the tension in your body, knowing that things are ever changing and continue to change all the time. Breathe into that, that feeling of nothing is permanent. All feelings are good feelings. They're a sign that I am a fully feeling, functioning, flawed, beautiful human being. take a second to just think about what the word grief means to you. Just allow whatever comes up naturally to come up. No one's listening. There's no wrong or right. There's just the truth of what comes up in this moment. Notice how what comes up might be different than what you thought would or how you would answer if somebody else was listening. 
and enjoy the safety of being able to just check in with yourself around your grief and what grief means to you. Continue letting your breathing come to a natural pace. Just sit with the grief knowing in this moment you're safe. Let's scan our bodies, starting at the top of the head and working your way down, continuing to breathe. And anywhere you feel that your grief is showing up as a sensation or a pain or a tingling, any body sensation that connects to your grief, pause in your body scan and breathe into it. Starting at the top of the head and working your way down over the next 30 to 60 seconds, pausing to acknowledge and honor and breathe any areas of discomfort or any sensations as you connect to your grief. As you finish your body scan, I want you to feel safe and comfortable about taking a few more seconds right now to going back to that place where you felt the most tension in the body and breathe into that space. Allow your breath to travel through the body to that space that seems to be holding on to your grief a little bit more tightly, that seems to be showing up as a bodily sensation. Breathe deeply into that place so that your breath wraps around it, letting it know it's acknowledged, that it's not being ignored or pushed away, that it's something that we're aware of, that we're honoring, and we're gonna adapt and do what we can not only this morning or this evening, but throughout the next few days and weeks to really honor what's coming up in our grief. Now, as you connect to your breath, just focus now on the breath going in and out of the body. There's nothing to do here. Focus on the breath. And if thoughts start to creep in, just gently acknowledge them and let them pass, like passing clouds or other people on the street. It's all right that they're there, we're still going to find our way. What do you notice about your breath right now? Whatever you notice is perfectly okay. There's nothing to judge, there's no way to perfect this. Just being right now with yourself, with your grief, is all that there is to do. And when you're ready, I want you to put your hand on your heart. And just breathe into that. And 
enjoying the sensation of the breath pushing your chest forward and your hand rising and lowering as you exhale. And as you build this heart and brain and body connection, for the next 60 seconds, I want you to think of one thing that brings you joy or appreciation or gratitude or makes you smile. Breathe into that. Notice how when you think of this thing, how your entire body shifts, how your lips begin to part and form a smile, how maybe your cheekbones swell. Whatever this person, place, or thing is that evokes these emotions, just allow that to live right now in your body and know that you can always put your hand on your heart throughout the next week and return to this state. And you can release your hand now and just breathe into the body. A few more deep breaths. Four seconds in, one, two, three, four, six seconds out, one, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, and out. Take one last deep breath and choose one part of your body that you just want to thank for showing up for you. And send it some breath. Maybe it's the part that's not holding tension. Maybe it's the part that's supporting and taking on more for the other parts of your body. Maybe it's something that's connected to your senses that's allowing you to see or hear or feel and touch. And as you take your last few breaths with your eyes closed, remind yourself there's nothing to fix. There's nothing to fix. Only grief to honor. whisper or say to yourself, I am resilient and I am able to honor my grief. How does that feel in the body? Mm -hmm. And as we know that we can carry that feeling to energize us or support us or be kind to us through the rest of today, Start to wiggle your toes and fingers, moving slowly. Slowly bringing yourself back and you're ready to open your eyes to the room around you. Notice what you notice. And enjoy this brief moment where you can keep everything you were just feeling right here in the real world to support you throughout your day. Be gentle to yourself. Remain curious, kind, and self-compassionate. Keep experimenting. Develop the tools that serve you and get rid of the ones that don't. Honor the journey.
Well Grief Club, that's the show. If you enjoyed it, please let us know by liking and leaving a review. This will help as many people who may need what we're talking about find it the fastest. Remember to honor the journey, and when that gets tough, find the funny.